and power family welcome back to unto be with b quotes to live by and we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming <laughs> to celebrate a win i finished my very first book of 2023 and yes i'm gonna celebrate clap it up <laughs> and as you can see, the very first book that I finished was The Salt Eaters by Tony K. Bambara. And I highly recommend this book to you if you are going through a healing journey, if you are going through a self-love journey, if you are trying to figure out how to get back to self, how to get back to home, because it talks about a woman's journey back to self and how all of the people in her community and in her life play a role in that journey, in that healing journey, in that coming back to self journey, in that self love journey, in that self acceptance journey. It's just so good. Um, but you gotta pay attention. <laughs> okay, this is one of the hardest books I've ever read because Tony hops from one character's mind to another character's mind from one scene to a flashback to the same scene to the past that you wasn't really alive for but you know something about so you imagine yourself in that environment like and i and i want to say it's told from stream of consciousness but like i don't even know for real and i just finished reading it <laughs> so that is why i say it's one of the most challenging books I've ever read, but I still highly recommend it because if you can commit to this book and sit down and read the book and take your time and pay attention, like it's one of those Marvel movies where you got to pay attention to every scene because you don't know how it's going to connect and all of those crazy things. I think that you can get something from it. I think that anybody and everybody can get something from this book. And I'm not going to deep dive into some of the quotes that came up because I was so immersed in trying to focus so hard. I couldn't even pick up my pencil to underline the shit that smacked me. <laughs> okay, because it's a couple times this book smacked me in my face. Okay, one of the quotes that I can remember off top is, you have to be whole to see whole. And child, <laughs> that shit smacked me in my face because it's just like, I be thinking I got the whole picture. I be thinking that I see everything, that I know what's going on, that I know, you know, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, why, all of the things. And it's just like, sis, if you ain't whole, you ain't seeing whole. Okay, and a lot of us aren't whole. It takes a lot to be whole. She starts the book off with the question. And this is what made me actually come to this book because I was reading Sisters of the Yams by Bell Hooks, which might be our next book since we almost done with All About Love. And in there, she's like, there's a quote from The Salt Eaters by Tony K. Bambara that starts the book off. And it starts off saying, are you sure, sweetheart, that you want to be well? Like, already out the gate, she coming for you. <laughs> out the gate. But I wanted to share this one passage. Um, it's kind of like a paragraph from this novel because it spoke to me right now. Um, because some of you guys know I'm doing my own self-love practice of writing poetry to myself love poems specifically to myself every single day this year because I have spent so much of my life trying to shape and mold myself into what somebody else wanted and what somebody else expected and what somebody else needed and didn't give myself that love and that commitment and that care and that grace that I deserve, especially from my damn self. So when I was reading this passage, I like to read books chapter to chapter so that I don't get overwhelmed or also get caught up like I do on Instagram or TikTok. Um, but it was the end of the chapter and we done already spiraled a couple times in the chapter. So I'm just like, girl, I'm just trying to get to the end. I don't even know. <laughs> 
I'm like, child, where is we even at in the story? And this is what I began to read. It says, I am one beautiful and powerful son of a bitch, he told himself. Smart as a whip, respected, prosperous, beloved, and valuable. I have the right to be healthy, happy, and rich. For I am the baddest player in the arena or any other. I love myself more than I love money and pretty women and fine clothes. I love myself more than I love neat gardens and healthy babies and a good gospel choir. I love myself as I love the law. I love myself in error and in correctness, waking or sleeping, sneezing, tipsy or fabulously brilliant. I love myself doing the books or sitting down to a good game of poker. I love myself making love expertly or tenderly and shyly or clumsily and inept. I love myself as I love the master's mind. <sighs> he continued his litany, having long ago stumbled upon the prime principle as a player, that self-love produces the gods and the gods are genius. I want to read it again. <laughs> Because it's just so good. It's so much goodness in that. Like, that is literally an affirmation that I think I might read every single morning. Just because how often do we talk to ourselves like that? How often do we uplift that no matter what you do, baby, I love you. I love you when you're doing it good. I love you when you're doing it terrible. I love you when you fucked up. I love you when you're in your best state. I love you when you make a mistake. I love you when you are almost perfect because perfect ain't real in my mind. <laughs> like, really, like that passage alone should motivate you to go read this damn book all right i love y'all and i appreciate y'all journey <laughs> joining me on this journey again the book is the salt eaters by tony k bambara <sighs> i love y'all see you next week <laughs>